Guys, welcome to today's day trading recap for Tuesday, September 14th. Uh, nice green day today, plus 1,143. Uh, so let's go through these. Uh, we didn't live stream yesterday. I actually uh, did some trades and booked uh, over $4,000 yesterday, but I don't post that because I didn't live stream, wasn't calling them out to the community. So only the ones that are called out to the community, uh, either during the live stream or in the day trades channel, uh, in Discord actually go on here. So uh, today, 1,143, had a mighty 90 in BABA for 188. No pairs trades. On the runners, uh, loser in Facebook for 300. Netflix was an exact scratch, zero. AMD plus 96, DKNG minus 450, Roku minus 220. Uh, and I separated these because this was a long trade and then my a couple of short trades with puts. Uh, plus 285, Piton 136, Zoom plus 200, and my big winner was Apple uh, plus 1,208. So let's do the Mighty 90 first. This is BABA. And uh, in BABA, price was coming down, coming down, had this nice spike in volume right here, uh, got long right here, and just caught this little bounce for a quick 188. Uh, next trade, moving on to the runners, let's go to Facebook. Uh, this is a losing trade in Facebook. And uh, so price was, was looking weak. It bounced up to unchanged. I got short right here. Actually, I think it was right here. Chopped around, chopped around, came down. I oh, I was really close to getting filled on half my contracts. Didn't quite get there by about a tick and then just pushed up. So when it pushed, 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 I ended up just cutting out there and taking the loss on that one. Uh, Netflix was a scratch, exact scratch. That didn't happen too often. But uh, in Netflix, um, what was I trying to do in Netflix? Oh, yeah. I was short here. So when uh, when price bounced up to yesterday's low, I got short, kind of chopped around, chopped around, went down, got out of half for a profit, and then it just kind of ripped up on me, and I ended up closing out there. Uh it just looked like it was it was getting ready to get some legs, and I didn't want to battle it, so got out. Even though, as you can see afterwards, it did end up rolling back over. So I took a scratch in Netflix. Uh, AMD was a small winner. Uh, this was called out by one of our folks in the community, uh, but uh, had this big push up, big massive spike in volume. So when it pulled back, uh, I got short, added a little bit there, um, and this was. Uh, uh, the catalyst was some news that they did an acquisition. And so I was comfortable holding it. It came down and kept chopping, chopping, chopping. Uh, as long as it was going to hold here, I was going to hold on. And it dipped below a couple times. I had my finger on the trigger to potentially exit, but it rebounded, bounced back up and shot up. And I got out of my last piece up there for a small profit. Uh, DKNG, uh, loser for minus 450. DKNG, I was, I was getting long here, uh, pulled back. It was pulling back. It was initially very strong, then pulled back to the unchanged mark. I was looking for a bounce uh, to new highs. Didn't happen. Just flushed down, so I ended up just cutting it out down here and taking a loss. And then Roku had a couple different trades in Roku. Actually, actually three different trades. Um, I just separated them into two because one was long, one was short. One had a big spike in volume right early in the day. It pulled back, got long right here, looking for a bounce. Didn't happen. Uh, flushed down, so I cut out and took a loss on that piece. When it kept going and then bounced up to unchanged, I got short, caught that, uh, got out of half my contracts. I was looking for more, kind of grinded up, and ended up getting out of the last uh, piece of that right there. And then um, uh, when it... Uh, Continue to chop around later, kind of early afternoon. Where was it? I think it was, oh yeah, right here. Nice little volume spike. So when it bounced, I got short and just caught this little move uh, down there for, uh, for a nice little winner. Uh, next, Piton. Piton, Piton. Piton ended up falling apart later in the day. But um, uh, in Piton, let's see, I got... Uh, I think I, let's see, what did I do in Piton? It was a small winner for 136. Oh yeah, it was the, it was the upside runner. So had that spike kind of the same time as Roku pulled back, got long, and I just caught that little bounce up there. When it started to come down uh, and then it bounced, I just got out of the rest. So I was out of my last piece right there. 
Uh, zoom plus two hundred on a downside runner. So with Zoom, uh, it was it was acting really weak, and so when it bounced here, uh, got short and caught that move down below. It started uh, actually, I think I just got out at this at this point right here. It bounced. I was considering getting back in. Uh, but I didn't. It just kind of chopped for a while anyway, so that was good. That was a good no trade to re-enter. Uh, and then Apple, my biggest winner. Uh, I've been watching Apple because uh, last week we were trading it, and you know they had that announcement come out that that lawsuit, uh, the uh, the Apple was going to lose that lawsuit against Epic Games, and so it had that big flush last week. And I was looking for a potential continuation. So I've been looking for areas to get short on Apple. Uh, came down here, uh, and, when it, and, it, and, it, and when it pushed strongly into negative territory and then bounced, I got short here looking for a continuation. That did not work. It just kind of grinded, grinded. And when it started to get acting like it was getting strong, I just cut out right there. So I took a little loss there. But then it kind of chopped around, then it turned around and came down pretty hard. And same exact thing. It bounced up. I got short right there. And I rode this thing down, it bounced, I added, got out, bounced, I added, uh, chopped around, and then flushed, got out, and I held one little piece, and it started chopping around, so I got out of that. So, nice $1,200 plus dollar winner in Apple. So, total for the day, plus 1143 We will be streaming live tomorrow, and we're having an open house. So, if you are interested uh, in checking out the day trading room, that we do every morning. Uh, we start at 8.30 a.m. Central, right when the market opens. And we usually stream for about the first 60, usually 90 minutes. Today, we uh, we did over 90 minutes. I think we, we uh, stream for the first two hours of the day. Uh, but if you're interested, just go to community.navigationtrading.com and you can join the community for free. I'll be posting the Zoom link for tomorrow's stream in the day trading chat channel. Uh, so again, just go to community.navigationtrading.com. Tomorrow, Wednesday, September 15th, we'll be streaming live open to the public uh, to come check it out. So look forward to seeing you then. We'll talk to you later.